Hey, did you get my coffee? Sure did. Hey, what's the matter with our coffee? No point in having an espresso machine if you use no names coffee, mate. Thomas, this is the real stuff. I'm not sure running errands for CIU comes under your job description, does uh, well, it? Yeah, well, that was my fault. I twisted okay. her arm. You just keep him there, we'll send someone straight at her. Right. Marge Cummings from the backpacker place says she's caught a prowler. What do you mean she's caught a prowler? She's got him trapped in her locker room. All right, you two, out again. Find out what's going on. Hey, Jay, while you're out, do you want to get me some coffee? Organic Brazilian decaf, I think. Heard someone rummaging around in the dorms, came up to see what was going on, and just caught sight of him dashing in here. Are you sure it isn't one of your backpackers? I didn't recognise him. Got a key there? All right, now this is the police. Uh, we're going to come in. Just stay where you are until you can be identified. About time I thought I'd be stuck in here for the duration. Who the hell are you? Garrett. Archie Garrett. Archie to me, mates. Private investigator. Business. That's all it was. Then why the sneaking round? Private investigator, love. That means you try to keep things a bit confidential. You're a long way from Geelong, Mr Garrett. Well, drove up this morning. Early bird catches the first worm. Which particular first worm are you after, Mr Garrett? Mary Luth. Alvarez, age 21, nationality, Chilean. Last known address, budget in Mount Thomas. Why are you looking for her? Oh, worried parents. She drunk home, Santiago. That's not in the US, that's Santiago. It's in Chile. You don't say. Yeah, well, uh, right in the middle of the conversation, there was a bit of a bump. She screamed out and the line went dead. Ah, um... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, OK. Mr Garrett, come through. Anything to oblige? Last month, didn't a backpacker go missing up Mildura way? Yeah, 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 South African girl, uh, Gerda something. Or, uh, Nilsson, Gerda Nilsson. You think they're linked? I hope not. So when did this Alvarez girl make this phone call? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, never let the grass grow under your feet, son. The essence of good detective work. So w when did the parents Contact actually... me? All same day. Saw my web page on the internet and emailed me straight away. The wonders of modern technology, eh? <laughs> you know, I I'm just surprised they didn't contact us first. Chilly, mate. You know what they're like over there? bit suspicious of the official place. Ah. What about you? Sorry? Why didn't you contact us? Well, I was going to, mate, was going to. You were my next port of call after the budget in, except uh, Mrs Cummings got the wrong idea and locked me in the locker room. <laughs> Any chance of a coffee, mate? Roger. Thanks, lad. Well, there you go. A statement. Get a photo of the girl? Well, I requested from the parents, but not scanned through just yet. Yeah. Milk might be a bit off, eh? <laughs> the milk's fine, Archie. Oh, must have left it under the steam a little bit too long. I mean, it's a delicate operation. Oh, coffee's a bit off too. <laughs> Did you grind the beans yourself, This is a love? police station, Mr Garrett, not a coffee bar. I <laughs> still can't complain. I mean, country coffee and all. Cheers. <laughs> And as if really special myself in the office. Yeah, lucky you. Well, that's private enterprise for you. So, what do we do next? Sorry? Um, I mean, now that we're working together. <laughs> we're not working together, Mr Garrett. Now, I'm going to get over to Marge Cummings. I'm going to take Joe with me. Benny boy? Yeah? You contact the Chilean embassy. And get on to immigration and find out whether or not this girl is still in the country. Right, yeah? Here's the um, parents' email address, if in case you're interested. Good on you. Thanks, mate. I mean, he must be worried sick, you know, with the daughter missing and all. If the daughter is still missing. I mean, we don't want to jump the gun, do we? Oh, do you mind if I tag along? I'm sure you've got plenty to do, Archie. I don't know, PJ. Mr Garrett might remember something else about the girl. Gee, I might at that. So which lockers? Uh... This one here. All right. Come on. Looks like she's planning to come back. When was the last time you saw her? I can't remember. They come and go as they please. Yeah, I know what you mean. Young people nowadays. 
Did you know she made any international phone calls? Oh, not from here, she didn't. There's a pay phone over the road if they need one. Did she have a mobile? Well? I don't think so. Well, you can't be too sure. Oh, it's all right, love. Him and me are working together on this one. No, I don't think she did. Now, I have work to do. This place doesn't run itself. All right, oh, thanks, Mrs yeah. Cummings. I won't disturb you anymore. Oh, it's not likely they made a call from over there. I mean, it's too busy for a mug. Yes, mate. Number one, we're not mates. And number two, we're not working on this case together. Oh, but that little blonde side. Forget about what she said. I run CI, and I'm in charge of this case. You got it? Well, message received and understood. Good. Pity, though. We would have made a great team. I mean, just like Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> si, si, gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh, lady, oh, ignore nice. him. The parents? Uh, no, the maid, even less English than my Spanish. Anyway, from what I can gather, Senor and Senora Alvarez are already on their way to Australia. Left a few hours ago. Oh, I must be worried. Oh, can you blame them? I mean, daughter goes missing on the other side of the planet. Jack, get on to Telstra, see if they can trace this interrupted call, eh? Yeah. It's worth a try. PJ. Why not, why not? No hassles. But I think there's something you should know. Mind you, I don't want to tell you how to do your job and all, but um, if I was you, I'd have a yarn with that young English fella. What young English fella? Yeah, well, I was going to find him myself and have a yarn with him, but seeing that it's your no, case no, no, now... No, 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 what English fella? What are you talking about? Well, the one that was knocking around with young Murray Luth. So the one the uh, French girl was telling me about. French girl? Yeah, Michelle. Nice girl, that, too. Had a bit of a word with her this morning when I arrived, but... Just before the altercation with uh, Mrs. Cummings. Yeah, yeah, so, so what about this, Michelle? Well, she told me that this young English fella, name of Ashley, um, had been very close with Murray Luth. Uh, mind you, she didn't seem to go for that too much. Who? Who? Who didn't? Michelle. Sounds to me like she sort of fancied him herself. So why didn't you tell me this before? Well, you didn't ask. So where is this Ashley? I don't know, mate. Well, I do know where Michelle is, though. I mean, she turned up at the budget inn just after you left. But I've already told you as a detective, uh, Marie Luce went bushwalking with Ash. Yesterday. That is correct. You haven't seen her since? I've seen either of them. They didn't ask you to go with them? They did not. I think she was stupid. I would never go with Ashley alone. Why not? I just would not. I cannot trust him. In what way? Everywhere. Especially with women. You, uh, you three have been travelling together, right? For the last three weeks, we met in Mildura. Okay, has Ashley ever gone off with girls before? Sometimes. How often? I did not know. Once or twice, maybe. So when you're up north, do you ever meet up with a girl by the name of Gerda Nielsen? The one who went missing? No, 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 we never met her, no. You sure? There were many backpackers in Mildura. Look, I have to go. I want to post the letter. Look, just before you do go, what was Murray Luth wearing when you last saw her? T-shirt, blue cargo short, and a whole denim jacket. That is all, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Look, if there is anything else you do remember, feel free to contact us, eh? Okay. You'll be sticking around for a bit, won't you? Yes. Gerda Nielsen was definitely in Mildura at the same time those three were. Yeah, but this other girl, Michelle, says they didn't meet. That's what she says. Yeah, she certainly seemed uncomfortable about it, though, and about this Ashley guy. All right, Sergeant, might be worth getting on the missing persons. Right. In the meantime, let's concentrate on trying to find Miss Alvarez and her companion. How do we know Murray Luth and this Ashley bloke aren't just off having a bit of nookie somewhere? Oh, it's a possibility, I suppose. Yeah, what about Murray Luth's phone call? Well, maybe her parents just got it wrong. How? I don't know. All that happened is a phone call was cut off. Maybe her parents misinterpreted it. Or Murray Luth was just mucking around. Mm. A hoax? Maybe. Yeah, but why? Jacko, how are you going with Telstra tracing the call? Still on hold, man. All right, seems to me we've got two choices here. Either we assume that this is just some innocent messing around and we wait for him to turn up, or we assume the worst and start looking, especially with this Ashley carry. Well, it's Ashley Palmer, actually. This uh, gentleman said that you were looking for me about Murray Luth. Said something's happened to her. Uh, yeah, we, we spent the day together. Well, you know, most of it. So you didn't spend the night with her? No, I'm afraid not. What happened? Well, it's stupid, really. We, uh, we had a row and she walked off. Oh. All right. I mean, I hope she's all right. I, I couldn't live with myself otherwise. W what was this row about? 
I really couldn't tell you, to be honest. It just seemed to spring out of nowhere, like these things do. You know how it is. So, so what did you do after the round? I hitched a lift into St David's and cruised a few pubs. And you only got back this morning? Yeah, that's right, about half an hour ago. Where'd you stay the night? Well, I met this, uh, this other Don't girl. Don't go on, on you spent the night with her, right? Yeah, that's all right. OK, got a name and address there, buddy? What do you need to know that for? Well, Mr Palmer, it's just for the record, filling in the gaps, you know? Debbie. I don't know her last name. She's a student. Uh, she has a flat with a couple of other girls, practically next door to this pub we're in. Oh, yeah? Which pub? The Oxford Bar. And you have no idea where Murray Luth went after you left her? No, I'm sorry. The last I saw, she was heading for a phone box. Phone box? Yeah, I said something about calling her parents. A phone box in the bush? Yeah, on the road, by the entrance to the National Park. Right. D did you see her make this call? No, I told you. A lorry came by and I got a lift. Worked on the assembly line at four until I got the push. Uh, right arch, I said, no point crying over spilt milk. Grabbed me redundancy pay and set up Garrett inquiries. Good on you. Tell you what, have a look, Bax. How are we going, mate? We're going fine, thanks very much. Gee, they must be missing you and Geelong. Oh, nothing then can't wait. So, what's our next move? All right, all right, all right. I oh, know, none of my business. I'll just go and get myself a room over at the pub. Thanks for the coffee, young fella. All right, now, Mr Palmer, this is he spent last night with a student called Debbie. Mm. Who's next door to the Oxford Bar in St David's? Check it out, please. Yeah, it's, uh, I think uh, we might find out where Palmer last saw Ari Luke. So we came out here and she, uh, she headed to the phone box. And you? I went up to the T-junction. And you got a lift right away, did you? Yeah, very conveniently. Oh, very. Did the uh, truck driver happen to see the girl? No, probably not. What sort of truck was it? It was a small pickup with a load of timber. Nice Italian gentleman driving it. You might be able to find him. Sure we could. Anything? The phone was off the hook, hanging down. 24 hours later. It's a lonely road, not used much. When you're in the bush with this girl, did anyone see you? A witness. That's right. As a matter of fact, there was. I don't think it'd be much help to you, though. Try me. Well, it was early in the day, before we started getting on each other's nerves. Uh, there was a weird-looking guy hacking into a tree with a knife. A knife? Yes, yeah, a long, sharp object used for cutting things. Actually, it was more like a bayonet. Anyway, the minute he saw us, he just bolted. Just disappeared. So I take it you'll be staying at the hostel, Mr Palmer? Yeah, I won't be going anywhere till you find Murray Luth. Oh, yeah, good day. No, no worries. I've only been... You got a statement from him? Well, he's got a smart yeah, mouth, I'll tell you that. But it seems to be. The girl from the Oxford Bar checks out. Also the truck driver he got the lift from. Any word from Mildura? No, nothing specific to connect Ashley Palmer to Gerda Nielsen. No. Well, Telstra confirmed that it was that phone booth, the one near the National Park. I think we better find that man with the knife. Yes, Mr Garrett. He is. I'll just put him on. PJ. Archie. Yes? You found what? Archie! Oh, I just checking my message bank. Huh. Well, there you go. One money belt as promised. I'll keep your fingerprints off today. Where'd you find this? Oh, right there. Oh, it's Murray Luth, all right. It's even got a letter in there from her parents. You mind telling us what you're doing out here, Mr. Garrett? Just mooching around, mate. I had a yarn with that young Ashley fellow this morning. And he told me roughly where him and Murray Luth had gone bushwalking, so I thought I'd take a bit of a look, you know. Bingo. Look, I thought I told you not to interfere in this case, Archie. Absolutely, mate, absolutely. But it is a free country, and I do love a bit of a bushwalk myself, and I did phone you, though, as soon as I found it. There's someone over there. Where? Oi, you! What are you doing? Oh, mate! It's okay, mate, we just want to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put down the knife! Yeah. All right, put it down. I didn't do it! I said put the knife down! Step away. Have a Dickie Llewellyn. Is that your name? Okay, Dickie. Mate, we're just going to ask you a couple of questions, all right? I didn't do anything wrong. They let me. You asked them. Who? The Rangers. They know me. You asked them. They let me. 
Let you do what? Get my specimens in the park. I've got permission. Is that what the knife's for, Dickie? Yeah, that's right. I dig them out. Under the bark, you've got to dig them out. Oh, I so see. Collect bugs. Coleoptera mainly. Some are anida. Uh, uh, beetles and spiders. Huh. That's right. Do you like insects? That depends. Well, there's uh... no different kinds out there. Hey, Dickie, Just... mate, why did you run away when you saw us? I don't know. No, that's been a reason. I was scared. What of? I get scared. I like to be on my own. You keep away from other people? Yeah, I keep away. You out in the bush yesterday, mate? I go out every day. You see anyone else out there? Yesterday? Hmm. No. Are you sure, Dicky? I didn't see anyone. Guy and a girl out walking? No. What about by the end of the National Park? Are you all using the phone box? I didn't go near there. It would have been a bad bid day. No. So where were you midday? That's lunchtime. That's right, lunchtime. I was at home. I always have lunch at home with Mum. The Llewellyns, yeah, I knew them. He took to the drink to drown his sorrows. He ended up running away. She took to religion to drown hers. She's a bit eccentric. Yeah, so's his son, to put it mildly. Eccentric enough to abduct a female backpacker? Who knows? Well, I just spoke to Miss Llewellyn. Um, Dickie was at home yesterday at midday. Mind you, the mother did sound a bit defensive. Doesn't mean she was lying. I mean, what mother's going to dob in her own son? Maybe. All right, you better let him go, but keep an eye on him. What's your next move? Another word with Ashley Palmer if Dickie is telling the truth. Palmer's got some explaining to do. Crime scene have drawn a blank at the phone booth. What about the money belt? No prints, but they're going to give DNA a try. I've been thinking about that belt, right? There was a pocket in it for a passport, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So? Well, it was empty, and surely your passport's the kind of thing you keep on your person at all times, isn't it? was when I last travelled. So an abductor could have it. Oh, it's possible. Unless Mary Luth left it somewhere for safety, like Marge coming safe at the youth hostel. Want me to check with that? Uh, yeah, please. Let's see if Ashley Palmer's there too. Thanks. Ashley Palmer, he's down at the pub getting stuck into a liquid lunch with some of his backpacker mates. The uh, ma... The ma... 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 You're having a good time? <laughs> yeah, I am, actually. Uh, love your Aussie beer, right, covers? Good. Good beer. Good. Good. Do you mind if we have a word? Mm. I'm always happy to oblige the forces of law and justice. On your own, please. Without the girls. Okay. A tickle. No worries, mate. Thank you. Wanka. <laughs> I'm sure Mary Luth would be pleased to know you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, well, life must go on. Now, listen, about yeah, that sightseeing The you saw in the bush, the one with the knife, we actually found him, and he said that he didn't see you or Mary Luth yesterday. <laughs> well, he's lying. Or you are. Yeah, maybe I am. Oh, but how is it that I managed to describe him? Perhaps you saw him somewhere else. Right, and I just said he was there. Um, why on earth would I do that? I don't know, you tell me. Is that an accusation? No, it's a suggestion. Look, I don't know what's happened to Murray Luth, but we did see that weird guy. In fact, I think he was perving on us. Maybe that's why he doesn't want to admit that he was there. Maybe. <laughs> Murray Luth was wearing a money belt. Mm. Hmm? Yeah, why? You know she had a passport, didn't you? <laughs> her passport? Hmm. I don't know why. What's this about? Her belt was found in the bush. The passport was missing. Well, maybe she left it in the hostel safe. We checked. She didn't. Mm. Well, I guess I can't help you then, can I? Ashley is trying to set up Dickie Llewellyn. It's obvious. <laughs> well, it's obvious you don't like him. Do you? No, not much. But he's not guilty of anything yet. Then why was he so thrown when you mentioned her passport? Hmm. Because he's knocked it off. They were the fortune of the black market. Come on. You keep turning up like this, you'll give the place a bad name. I'm sorry, Mrs Cummings, but it is important. So is my reputation. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> sorry, covers, this bed's taken. Get out of there before I put the hose on you. <laughs> you do want that says we've got a good spanking. I'll have you know, Missy, that there are rules in this establishment. <laughs> well, quite a one for the ladies, aren't you? Oh, is that a crime? That depends on the circumstances. Well, I didn't exactly have to force Michelle into bed. What about Murray Luth? Oh, <laughs> neither, believe me. Then what did you argue about on the bushwalk? Certainly not about that. She was more than willing. Then what? Let's just say she was less than happy about my naturally polygamous inclinations. Michelle? She always is quick. Yeah. I've had my hands full keeping those two satisfied, I can tell you. 
but I managed. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of this little visit? Do you want to get up and get dressed? No, not particularly. Right, then we'll go through your locker then. Why? What do you want to search? Just inquiries. Right, well, I assume you'll need a search warrant. Right, Constable. Get on to Sergeant Gallagher, we'll get a warrant right away. All right, fine. Look, I've got nothing to hide. You can say that again. Do you want to take it easy with that? It's all carefully packed. You see, that would be my dirty washing. Oh, I'd be careful with that if I were you. It's got a week's worth of dirty smalls in there. What's this? Well, that would be a block of flats. What do you think it is? It's a bundle of passports. You needn't waste your time. Mario Lutz isn't one of them. Ashley Richard Palmer. I'm quite a traveller. Kathmandu, Manila, Bali. Yeah, I like the East. Yeah. So what are you doing with these passports? Looking after them. They all belong to females. Yeah, I know that. Female backpackers. Yeah. Why? Why what? Why are you looking after them? Because they asked me to, for security. And where are the owners now? Well, I don't know, all over the place, travelling. Look like it's raining. Hey? Eh? Do you think that I came down in the last shower? <laughs> because two female backpackers are missing, Ashley, one of which you've been closely associated with. Now, if I find out that any of these oh, girls are sec. missing... Now, Mari Luth and that South African girl's passports aren't among that lot. And two, I'm not a serial yeah, killer. Can you prove that? Oh, I don't have to. Can there you is prove that? To because you were the last person to see Mari Luth alive. You are number one suspect, my friend. But if I find out any of these girls are missing, you are gone. And the cobbers in the Australian jail, would well, they'd really appreciate a nice young bloke like you. All right, I took the passports. Nice. Okay. Good. So you stole them? Yep, yeah, fine, whatever. What did you intend to do with them? Sell them once I got to Thailand. To fund your overseas trip? Yeah, something like that. I don't believe you. Oh, come on, check these girls Sit out. Down. Sit down. They've probably already reported their passports missing. Not Murray Luth or Gerda Nielsen. I didn't meet this Gerda Nielsen, and I've told you about Murray Luth. What, everything? I mean, what about this argument? I mean, maybe she caught you trying to steal her passport. Maybe one thing led to another. I've told you what we quarrelled about. Look, if I had anything to do with those two girls disappearing, wouldn't their passports be among this lot? You could have hidden them somewhere else. You're trying to stitch me up, aren't you? You're doing a good job of that yourself. Tess, yeah. any word on the missing passports? Still doing a ring round of the embassies. Two of the girls are safe in Sydney. So it looks like Palmer isn't a killer. Maybe not, but I still reckon it's got something to do with Murray Lou's disappearance. Jack, get him out here. Well, we can charge him with theft at least. Now, he'll just skip bail. No way, I'm opposing bail. Isn't that going a bit far? Listen, a couple of nights in St David's lockup is just the sort of backpacking experience he needs. Hey, good day, sir. So what are you blokes drinking? Uh, that's all right, Mr. Garrett. It's speech, I should. Oh, well, in that case, make mine a Guinness. I don't know what it is, but I seem to upset that bloke. So, any closer to solving Murray Leeds' case? Oh, not really. Now we're getting there. Well, uh, parents are coming in tomorrow, and I reckon they'll be looking for results. No, they're not. Sorry? They're not flying in tomorrow morning. Their flight's been delayed into Haiti. How did you know that they were flying in anyway? What? Parents. Well... When they first contacted me, they'd already had their tickets. Well, it's a pity you didn't think to tell us. Yeah. Would have saved us a phone call to Chile. It must have slipped my mind. It must have. We'll trace the rest of those stolen passports. All the girls are safe and sound. So it looks like Ashley Palmer's off the hook for anything other than theft. Name Shane Franklin? Not reported. And? Got something to report in. Yes? I was out rabbiting this morning. First thing, keep my eyes open, and I found something. Found what? Where? In the bush near the park. Looks to me like a grave, newly dug. So do I get a reward if there's a body? No, you don't. Well? There's nothing here. Yeah, I reckon he got frightened off before he could finish the job. Who did? The murderer. You watch a lot of videos, do you, Shane? Yeah, I do. All right, have a look around. Well, should we wait for crime scene? Oh, what, are you trying to tell me my job? Yeah, he's the detective, aren't you? Thanks, mate. Yeah, I reckon I'm being a detective. 
What do you need to do to get in? Well, the main thing is you've got to keep your eyes open. Your mouth shut. Yeah, I can do that. Sweet. No drama. PJ, over here! Dickie Llewellyn's? What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. There's something else in there. What? What? Did Michelle say Mary Luth had a denim jacket? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, somebody's been digging there, Dickie. Looks like a half-finished grave. Well, I didn't dig any grave. It was right next to your shelter. It is your shelter, isn't it? Well, I use it to store my specimens. Mum doesn't like the smell of formaldehyde. The jacket we found, Dickie, it belongs to the missing girl. Well, I don't know anything about that either. It's right there in your shelter. Well, anyone could have put it there. You sure you didn't meet the girl at the phone booth? Take it back to your shelter, eh? No, I Anything told you. Anything could have happened. It, it, it could have been an accident. I mean, just get it off your chest. I wasn't anything. there. I was at home with Mum. Well, maybe something happened, Dickie, eh? No, it wasn't me. Why don't you ask that spiky-headed bloke? He's the one who was having the blue with her. Ashley Palmer. So you did see them earlier? Yes. Why did you say you didn't? I was scared. I thought I'd get into trouble. What for? I lied about the rangers letting me collect specimens. Not there. I wasn't supposed to be there. It's a regeneration area. Hey, Jay. You got a minute? Yep. Um, I just thought I'd let you know, I checked with Mrs Llewellyn on Dickie's lunchtime right. outside, yeah. and the Reverend Robin Summerhays was having lunch with Dickie and his mum. So it definitely couldn't have been him in the phone booth, unless the Reeves in collusion. No, no, no. Dickie didn't thump her. Yeah, if you want my opinion, I don't think it was Dickie who dug that grave either. Agreed. I mean, why would he leave the jacket in his shelter just to be found like that? Mm. It doesn't make sense. Well, it does, if somebody's setting him up. Like who? This Ashley bloke. No, it's unlikely his alibi sound. Then who? Who indeed. Can I put one of these on your notice board? We don't advertise garage sales in here, mate. This is serious stuff, man. Detective work. Detective work, eh? Give us a squeeze. Have you seen this girl? Contact Archie? Reward offered, eh? I told you it was serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, very serious, very serious. How long you work with Archie Gary? Oh, a couple of days. A couple of days? Yeah. And his dog comes after him, all of a sudden he's chucked the crutches away and heading down the street. <laughs> hey, Paige, Archie's just been telling me about some of his cases. Yeah? Anything about planting evidence? Hey? Sorry, you lost me. Yeah, me too, mate. Have you got time for a beer? Nah, just a word. About young Shane. Oh, good kid, Dad. So he give you one of me flyers, mm. did he? Mm. He also showed us something very interesting he found in the bush. Oh, smart. Yeah. Did you know he wants to be a detective? And you've been giving him some pointers, <laughs> oh, huh? Yeah, may have, you know. <laughs> and you've been pointing him in the direction where he might accidentally come across a newly dug grave, right? No. You've no. been planting evidence, haven't you, eh? Now, Shane took us out there. Well, all I said to young Shane was to keep his eyes open when he was out rabbiting. Well, it paid off, though, didn't it? I mean, what'd you find? You tell me. I'm on to you, Garrett. It was Archie Garrett. I know it was. Sounds like he's playing games with you, mate. Yeah, but why? To keep us occupied while he tries to find her himself, that's why. The jacket is definitely Murray Luth's. And if he planted it, where did he get it from? That's what I'd like to know. I've just had Inspector Falcon Price on the phone. What, to congratulate no, us on exactly. our endeavour? What's this rubbish about accusing Archie Garrett of planting false evidence? What? Garrett apparently has made a complaint. Nothing formal, but formal enough to get up Falcon Price's nose. This is beginning to look like a personal grudge. A, he's up to something, he's you up know. Up to what? Apart from irritating you. He's the key to the disappearance of this Alvarez girl. You don't That's say. Why. How? Look, he's planting all these red herrings, and his complaint to Rusty Falcon Price is just a preemptive strike. I, I just think we should talk to the parents again. Good idea. But aren't they frightened of the police? Use your initiative, Parrish. Senor Alvarez? Buenos dias. Uh, soy senorina... Um, uh, mi, mi lamo... Oh, you speak English. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm Joanna Parrish from Mount Thomas in Australia. I was wondering if we could ask you a couple of questions. Well, two very interesting pieces of information. One, they didn't hire Archie Garrett to look for their daughter. They hired him to keep an eye on her. 
You don't say. Over three weeks ago. He's been following her around. I wonder why Mr Garrett didn't tell us about that a bit earlier. Exactly. And what was the other piece of information? Well, when the parents learned that Murray Luther had gone missing, they offered a reward of $100,000. <sighs> Via Archie Garrett? Apparently. I think we'd better find out what P.I. Garrett's got to say for himself. I was embarrassed, that's all. Didn't want to look like a dork in front of me colleagues. Professional pride? You say you just lost it? Well, I had her in my sights all that time. I was sending regular reports back to her olds. And she just disappears, as you know. So, Archie, where exactly were you when she just disappeared? Well, I was back in Geelong. Now, I wasn't lying about that. Well, I came up here as soon as I heard. So what were you doing in Geelong if you're supposed to be keeping an eye on her? Well, I thought she'd be safe in sleepy old Mount Thomas Town. <laughs> so I slipped back home to deal with some pressing business problems. Like what? Sorry, love. Can't tell you that. It's P.I. code of ethics and all that stuff. Like you couldn't tell us about the $100,000 reward posted by the Alvarez family. I did say there was a reward in me flyer. You didn't say a hundred grand, though, did you, Archie? I wonder why. Oversight, you might say. Archie didn't expect us to find about any of this till the parents got here. That's why he was happy to give us their email and phone number. He knew they were already on their way and thought they were out of contact. Well, why should that worry him? Because he knows where Murray Luth is. Are you sure? Well, Fitz, he abducts her, gets the parents to hand over the reward when they arrive, hands her over and collects. So where do you think he's gone? A motel, caravan park? I'll get onto it right away. We can't hold him any longer, PJ. We haven't got anything on him. So we let him go. And follow him. Thomas 509 to Mount Thomas 900. Why would he be going to the National Park? Maybe that's where she's buried. We don't even know she's dead. But why would you go back there? Uh, maybe he was interrupted and he's gone back out there to finish the job. Right, you and Jake better get out there. I'll get back up from St David's as well. Mount Thomas 900 to VKC. south from the entrance road. He's on foot. Yeah, he's heading towards... Uh, Dickie uh, Shelter. Dickie Shelter. Well, you found the jacket? Yeah, that's right. I've got 308 on their way and St David's 208 is about 15 minutes off. Copy that. All right, you head up there. I'll double around the back. Right. phone earlier. We'd be lost without these little things, wouldn't we? So what are you blokes doing here? Maybe I can help. So where's Garrett now? Well, he stayed at the pub overnight. Jack's keeping an eye on him. No word of the girl? No. Good work. OK, that was our boys out at Melbourne Airport CI. They say that Murray Luth's parents have just arrived. They're on their way? Yeah, they hired a car. Should take them an hour and a half, two hours max. Oh. So Archie's going to have to find her pretty quickly. we better get down to the pub and see what he's up to. Mm. Uh, that may not be necessary. I've just spoken to Nolene from Wombat Creek Caravan Park. She reckons she's got a young foreign girl in one of her vans and apparently she never comes out. Well, maybe she can't come yeah, out. Exactly. All right, Wombat Creek, that's in St David's, isn't it? Yeah, I know the way. Now, hang on. Hey, Joe. Morning, love. Do a bit of bush walking lately? No, not today. Nothing like a bit of fresh air, eh? 
Tuesday. Jo, did you forget something? Uh, no, can you book a room for Mr and Mrs Alvarez for me? Sure, are they there, Chilling Girls? Yeah, they're driving up from Melbourne, should be here in an hour or so. Oh, the poor things, is there any news? No, I'm afraid not. Anyway, I'd better get back to it. Thanks a lot for that. Hello. Now, uh, more toast? Uh, no, thank you. I've, I've had enough. I've uh, got things to do. Ah. Out of the car is heading towards the caravan. Good day, Archie. Howdy. You looking for something? So she tipped you blokes off as well, did she? Who did? I reckon it was that Michelle Sheila. I mean, you can't disguise a French accent. Where's Murray Luke? I don't know. I didn't know as much as you do. I mean, maybe the tip-off was a phony. There was no tip-off in the first place, you know that. She left her passport behind, Archie. Mm, place is a bit of a mess. Must have left in a hurry. Well, she was taken by force. Archie, you got a bit of explaining to do. OK, there was no tip-off. It was just blind luck. I was acting on a hunch. You knew exactly where you were going. Well, that's the way it may look. But that's how I operate. I'm a decisive sort of a fella. I've uh, just spoken to Nolene out at the caravan park. She's given me a lovely description of a man she saw there early in the week. A tall, thin, indigenous Australian. Yeah, well, lots of people look like me, mate. I'm nothing special. Blend into a crowd, that's what I do. You're too modest, aren't you? Yeah, story of my life. Hey! You're in deep trouble, my friend. Question is, how deep do you want to go? Meaning? Meaning, sooner or later, the truth's going to come out. So, for your sake, it's better if it's sooner. OK. Well, maybe I was this fellow this Nolene person saw at the caravan park. You knew Murray Luther was there? Yes. So where is she now? I don't know. I've turned it up, Archie. It's a truth. I don't know where she is. But you thought she was in the caravan. Well, that's where I left her, After yes. abducting her? I did not So how not do you explain the interrupted her. phone call to the parents, eh? I mean, she was screaming. I mean, did, did you hurt her, Archie? No, this Did you is take her back to the caravan? Did you come to? Did you kill her? Look, you got did it you kill all her? wrong. You got it all wrong. Huh? I did not abduct her. We were in this together right from the beginning. You better not be telling me it's talkies, the truth, Archie. It's mate. Cross my heart. She knew I was following her right from the start. She came up to me in a pub in Queensland and told me. Then one thing sort of led to another and we even spoke of becoming involved in she must be half your age. Yeah, well, plenty of good tune playing an old fiddle, love. Just ask your mate here. Get on with it. Well, she, she came up with this scam. Whereas she'd go missing, I'd get the olds to put up the reward, then I'd find her and we'd share the loot and uh, we'd, we'd shoot through together. And when the parents said they were coming here, you had to keep the pot boiling until they got here? Yeah, that's right, love. It was all bells and whistles. All right, Archie. You tell me where she is now. I told you. I don't know. So you think he just made up the story about the scam? Well, it's a possibility, especially if something has happened to Murray Luth. It's a lesser of two evils. So has Forensic turned up anything at the caravan? No, uh, not yet. Well, appearance of you here any minute. You think it's worth another crack at him? Do you know where Mari Luth is? I don't know where she is. Honest. I swear to you, I wish I did. You're a liar, Archie. You've proven that before. I wouldn't lie to you about this. I care for that girl. So you say. Look, man, she can wrap you around a little finger. I'd do anything for her. Like? What do you think I was doing that day at the hostel when Mrs Cummings locked me in? I don't know. You tell me. I was trying to get her crucifix back. Crucifix? Yeah. She wanted it back. Some sort of a lucky charm or something. Said she couldn't live without it, so stupid Archie goes over there to try and get it back. But you never got it to her? No. It's truth, you were quick. I only just found the station. Before. What do you mean, what for? Take a look at that. There comes Sola! Well, do I get the reward? So I screamed. 
banged the receiver against the phone, and then I kept quiet. So your aim was to extort money from your parents? It was a trick, that's all. A trick? Meanwhile, we're running around like headless chooks. You've committed a criminal offence. Why? It was my money anyway. <laughs> and how do you work that out? It would have come to me eventually. My parents are just miserable old people. They never want me to do anything. They didn't want me to come to Australia. I've got my own life to lead. Well, I'm sorry, but the courts aren't going to see it that way. What about Michelle, Dickie Llewellyn, Ashley Palmer? You don't feel just a little bit guilty about putting them under suspicion? They've all been cleared now, haven't they? That is hardly the point. All right, so let me get this clear. Archie Garrett was going to collect the reward and then the two of you were going to run away into the sunset. <laughs> is that what he says? Well, isn't it true? Do you seriously think I run away with someone like him? He's almost as old as you are. Well, there's no fool like an old fool, eh, mate? Does you really think she'd go away with you? Who knows? Well, I'll get plenty of time to think about it now, eh? So, what do you think I'll get? Well, let's put it this way. You're not going to get off with a slap on the wrist. Yeah. I, I knew she'd dump me, though. But we can all dream, though, can't we, mate? We can. No, what? I actually feel sorry for him. Well, you old fellas have to stick together, right? Guess what? The South African chick's turned up in a chuka. She didn't seem to think it important to tell anyone she's going canoeing up the Murray for a few weeks. Young people nowadays, eh? I don't know. Gee. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, uh, PJ. Anytime, anywhere, Archie Garrett's your man. Don't go changing, mate.